Alicia Janish McCarran, executive chef at LinkedIn San Francisco, part of the Artisan Restaurant Collection. And as you know, July is National Pickle Month, and today I'm going to talk about fermenting pickles at home. Now, people can get intimidated about fermenting at home, but really, it's no big deal. And it's quite safe to do. You just need a few things a nice, clean, sealable jar whole vegetables, baby carrots, pickling cucumbers, asparagus spears, water, filtered water is preferred, and kosher salt. And what you're gonna do is make a very simple brine, one quart of water to two tablespoons of salt. You're gonna stir that until the salt dissolves. How much brine do you need? Enough to fill and completely cover your vegetables. Then what you're gonna do is take your clean jar, jam it full, of your vegetable, I'm doing cucumbers, and I filled them as much as I could so I could still completely submerge my cucumber. Then I poured my brine on top and sealed it. Now, how long does the fermentation process take? It can take anywhere from two to six weeks. And why such a big window? It really depends on where you're doing it. Is your apartment cool or warm? Mine's pretty cool. So I know my fermentation process will take a long time. Um, what you're fermenting, a, a dense baby carrot will probably take a lot longer than a cucumber. Um, and, and how much salt did you use? Did you get a little heavy handed? Cause that can prolong the fermentation process. And what are you looking for in the fermentation process? First and foremost, that it's tasty. You want the texture to soften a little bit. You want the flavor to become a little bit more pronounced and sour. Um, what you don't want to have happen is like a thick mold. Um, the vegetables become exposed. If either of those happen, remove the mold and refresh with some brine so that the vegetables are completely submerged. And just keep checking your vegetables, burp the jar, let the air out uh, every few days um, and keep it in a nice clean spot and make sure there's no water pooling at the base of your jar. So these pickles have been sitting in the brine for about three days and look at what's happening already. Ooh, look at all that activity. So you wanna make sure that you're burping your jar to let the air out, otherwise it will leak on your counter, which happened a little bit. And then if some of the pickle starts becoming exposed, jam it down with a clean utensil and then add a little fresh brine because you wanna make sure everything's submerged. Reseal it and then you'll wanna burp it every few days so it doesn't start leaking.